Hey, that's how did how do you guys get on so fast? I literally pressed go live like like t like a second ago, and there's people watching already. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, we live. Um, hang on, how do I get this? Uh, let's get this a bit more sorted. Can you guys hear me and all of that? Hi, how you going? I'm gonna attempt to do like the impossible right now, which is. Um, do like a live feed with two kids uh, running around and craziness, so this might not last long. Yet we can hear you. Hey Riley, how you going man? We'll just wait until a few more people join up. Here we go, there's some people joining up now. Uh, yeah. How's it going everyone? It's uh, been a while, yeah, no videos for a while. Fishing's been slow, family commitments have been high. Uh, hands healing up, um, so haven't been doing a hell of a lot of paddling either, or no long paddles. Getting into kayak fishing, it's great. Nice angler's life. Welcome aboard. Legend. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah, we're just waiting, we're just waiting, get some people, uh, get the numbers up. And then we'll uh, do, so I was going to do like an unboxing, but and I wrote unboxing in the title, but then I've realised that uh, the, the reel that they've sent me was sort of wrapped up it's already out of its box, so I'll just get this one out and we'll put it together and then we'll, um... But I've got this big box here. Here, where is it? i got this real big box here, which needs unboxing, which will be full of lots of goodies, so that'll be cool. How's it going, mate? Long time watcher, love your vids. Have I been down to Kingscliff lately? I haven't been down to Kingscliff lately. Um, yeah, not a lot of fishing for a while. Uh, I did have a go last week at North Stradbroke, but it's called Mac Tune, Tiny Mac Tuna after Mac Tuna, and so I thought, oh, I can't bring myself to put that up as a video. Uh, as fun as it was, and it was a fun day, but there was no, I was hoping to get something epic. I wanted to come back with like an epic video, and unfortunately, it just hasn't been happening. So, um, yeah, but there's been just a bit of time off. Uh, videos have been sort of uh, hard to come by with content, and just like obviously my hands still healing up, but it's looking pretty good. Like I can. I can squeeze it together now and close my fingers up and when they join together like that, they close up fairly well. So it's a bit painful, but not too bad. Hey Rod, how's the finger? Yeah, just talking about the finger. Yeah, bending a bit better. Still a bit like you can see the tendon's still really strong there. But I won't talk about the finger for too long because no one wants to hear that sad story again. I can watch old videos. How are we going? Oh, we got some numbers. Not as many as I'd hoped, but I haven't been on for a while. So I guess we should just do this unboxing. I don't want to be online for too long. Uh, Twan, you wouldn't want to do that, it's live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife's like mucking around in the background, but she, luckily the, f it's front facing camera because yeah, that would be broadcasting live. All right, let's get this big box. Oh yeah, first we'll get the other, yeah. Uh, what do we got? <laughs> let's push this out of the way. So first thing was, I guess we'd um, been waiting for this reel to get here for a while. This is the new spin fish out. New Spinfisher 6, I guess we'll call it. I got in the habit of calling the other one the Spinfisher V, but really the V stands for um, 5. So we probably should go with the numbers from this point on, otherwise it's going to be a bit silly. Got a handle in here. So this one's come straight from uh, Penn in Australia. They've sent me one to give it a crack. And uh, it's the perfect size. I asked for the 5,500 because that'll be the right size for the trip I'm about to do. So sort of medium tackle size, and I think they've spooled it up with 30 pound braid. I think that's Berkeley Fireline Ultra 9 maybe? Jeez, I'd really need to carry a 9 I think. It's a new line, it should be good. So we'll wind this up and we'll see how he feels. I can get it in there. So this we are, I'm really looking forward to giving this one a crack. Obviously I've been using slammers for the last say two years. What's going on? I'm missing it. Let's move a bit closer here. All right. Now we're talking. That's better. Wind her up. Jeez, take some winding. Here we go. You know what? The first thing I noticed is it feels maybe a little bit lighter than the slammer. Maybe it's just my imagination, though. I do miss the big knob handle on the slammers straight away when I see it. But that's all right. We can live with that. Feels nice and smooth. It'll be good to get this uh, onto a fish. So the real big test is going to be uh, the longevity, I guess, with the seals. But I'm sure it'll ha handle it very well. Obviously, spinfishes, like the spinfish, spinfish of five, was the first one I was using. 
they got me into the pen seal reels. Let's tighten her up a bit. That drags nice and loose at the moment. I know sometimes, sometimes when the pen reels come, they come with quite a stiff drag. This one feels nice and loose. Yeah, that's really loose, which is good. Because I know a lot of people have a bit of sort of an issue that the, the reel, the loosest it goes, is actually not loose enough. But this one feels nice, very nice. Let's crank it up a bit. Oh yeah. Nice sound. So yeah, that I think this is going to be a really nice reel to sort of take on the adventure. Adventure coming up. Maybe try and find some bass fishing. Oh, let's go back and read that. Love you bass fishing. You know, like, yeah, I, I like bass fishing. I might even go today with the family because it's raining. It's pretty crappy weather today. It's windy and cold. But uh, perfect maybe for a bass fish. Definitely not offshore. It's blowing a gale. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, hello, mate. How are you going? What are you doing? Yeah. You're going to say hello to everyone? Hi. You're You're live, yeah, on the internet right now. And you're dribbling and, oh, sorry, Fox is not looking that great. We'll have to clean him up. So yeah, Spinfisher five, uh, Spinfisher six should be uh, a pretty sweet reel, but uh, we'll see how the seals go. And in the next adventure, which is coming up hopefully next week, if this wind plays game, I woke up this morning and checked the weather, uh, and the weather's not looking as good as it has been all week. So we'll see if that happens. If not, we'll postpone it for a week or two. Uh, what else have we got? Does anyone want to have any questions about the spinfish? I don't, I don't, I haven't used it yet, so I don't know where. <laughs> have you swapped the slammer for the spinfish out? Just, uh, I've still got all my slammers, of course, uh, and my slammer is probably going to be the better reel for me long term. It's got slightly better seals, but this is IPX5 rated now, so pretty good, uh, and apparently slightly better seals than the old Spinfisher 5, and then uh, definitely in a better price point as well. So, you know, if you're into, you want to get a sealed reel, but you can't quite go to the slammers, then this is probably the one for you, and hopefully will last the longest. Yeah, buddy, don't play with that one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, do you want to hold it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what else has it got? HT100 uh, drag, so the slammers have the Dura drag, so slightly better again, but I've never had a problem with the HT100 drag and the drag material in that. So, yeah, just slightly less seals, but still pretty good. How much? I think this one's going to come in at, what is it, around 160? I may be wrong on that. I know the V's, like the Spinfish of Fires were. And then the Slammers go up a bit more. Yeah, the Slammers have been cheap on uh, Amazon. But uh, that's more of a US thing. I guess you can still get an Oz. Anyway, we'll open this big box and see what else is in here. We'll get to another part of the unboxing. <laughs> How do we open it? Here you go, just pop it there, Fox. Just pop it, yeah. I'm okay with this. No, 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 you can't take that. Just people are watching us. <laughs> yeah, let's get this box open and we'll see what other goodies we got. Oh, it's a lot of wrapping. <laughs> Lots of hawks. Yeah, pull it out, man. Pull it out. No. Oh, fishing nets. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah. So, the most important part of this uh this package was the rods, obviously. Yeah, good nice. little helper. Yeah, he's great until he's not great. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, another Ocean Assassin's Rod. This one is to uh, go, this is like I think P2 to 5, is it? What have we got? So this will actually probably go with the Spinfisher to be a nice match. 6.2 six, uh, six Rod, Ocean Assassin's Rod. So that should go very nice down here. Nice. Oh, well, I'll put it on later. And then I've got another pen regiment rod as well. This one is to go with my other slammer. The problem I was having with the slammer is I've got like a 4,500 reel, but I put it on like a, the stick is only maybe, I think it's oh, two to eight, four to eight kilo reel. And I mean rod, four to eight kilo rod. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. There's kid stuff going on all of a sudden. <laughs> Plus it's live feed, it's distracting already. 
Anyway, yeah, so this is the regiment rod. It's like a regiment black ops rod. This should go very well with the Slammer 4500. Because what happened is I got the uh, Abu Garcia, like, yeah, four to eight kilo sticks, and they're great rods, but I found that that reel's capable of so much more. So I need a rod that's sort of capable with a bit more oomph. Yeah. So uh, I can take advantage of the drag. And this will definitely be coming on the next trip with me as well. So slightly heavier rod. Open that this. looks really nice. Open this. Open this. Open that one. Yeah. All right, mate. All right, what do we got? And this, oh, this is cool. I've always wanted this. This is a Fathom uh, overhead. Now, I have the bigger Fathoms, the Fathom 30s, but I've always wanted this one because I want to I want to sort of downgrade as much as I can to smaller reels. And this thing is like a little weapon. Oh, that's cool. So I've always wanted this reel. This is cool. That's like a little overhead. What? Okay, you want it? Anyway, maybe we'll have a look at some questions. <laughs> How much does the line, how much line does the uh, six hold? Good question. I got the guys at Penn to spool it because they have those big spools of braid so they can pre-spool it for me. I'll have to ask and get back to you on that one, mate. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much. It's got 30 pound on it, but I'll have to ask Ming at Penn and uh, I'll maybe put a, uh, I'll pin it up on the, in the comments for you. But this, uh, yeah, this little reel, I'm gonna put this on like a fair, like just a medium stick. Yeah, you can hold it in a sec. But this thing is going to be like a little weapon. I'm going to try and learn to cast with this one as well. This one? But, uh... This one? <laughs> this one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well this would be good on a little bass trip. Look at that. So they sent me a whole bunch of cool goodies. I'm very lucky. Obviously, I'm in no position to buy this amount of gear. And, you know, the guys have been looking after me uh, even more, obviously, since the channel's growing. And it's fantastic. It's a real big help. So, lots of little jigs. What else have we got? Some good eyes. Oh, that'll be good flashy. Maybe on the cod hunt again. Get some, like they got little spinners. So that I'd love to get some big plastics and go cod hunting again with Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Maybe one day soon. Monday. Some gloves. Gloves will come in handy. Yep. It's a pity they don't have fingers on them, but the fingerless will, will do all right. They're cool, actually. They're cool. What else do we got? Yeah, lots of hooks, lots of circle hooks. Lots more weedless hooks. Definitely going to try some more weedless. Fox is more excited than I'm like, yeah, I know. He's always excited. A little too excited sometimes. More little spinners, that'll be cool. Oh, and these, this is what I really need. Um, lure hooks to replace with singles. And they'll definitely be coming on the trip I'm going. Hey Rod, are you using that rod for snapper? Um, the regiment I'll be using for snapper. Uh, because, and it'll sort of sit in between, it's like a medium kind of, it'll be a bigger snapper rod. Uh, and with the uh, 4500 slammer, I think it should, it should match it really well. Give me a bit more power. It's a seven foot rod. Yeah, I'll get the specs, like I went through and ordered this one specifically. So it's a seven foot rod, uh, six to ten, 10 kilo class, so slightly heavier than the Abu Garcia I was using before. Much love from the Gulf Coast. How you going? Next Level Fishing. How you going, guys? I've been following you guys for ages. <laughs> Always uh, in awe of the guys that go out in uh, Alpha, Texas and hit the oil rigs and that. It looks like well and truly like I'd love to give that a crack one day. That's very good fun. Big coves, big king mackerel. What's that? Problem with life feed rod is you miss most of the questions. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. And I've been sort of looking at all this gear. I'll, I'll sit down, we'll go for a few questions. I want to try and cut this one a little shorter. What's that say? I only got them owner spinners today. Yeah, 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 hopefully they do well. Yeah, those, spinner, those little spinners look good. I think paired with the right plastic, it should be really cool. I'm trying to not read too many questions though, because what the, I've got a lot of people saying that they don't like the live feeds because it's too confusing. Because I'm just desperately trying to read every question, so I'm just going to look up. If I seem to hit your question, that's good. And I'll, but I don't want to sort of jump around too much because then I tend to like just it just goes all over the place. If you are watching these live feeds though, make sure you turn the chat on. If you're not, if you're on a computer, you can read the chat on the side. But if you're on your phone, there's a little button on your top, like uh, I think it's around the top. Uh, right hand corner maybe a few uh, icons in and you can turn the chat on on your phone or iPad and it makes it, it makes the live feed make more sense yeah but yeah so this rod should be uh, very nicely paired with the 4500 got room for you when you decide thanks guys yeah one day I'll get over there I know like 
Uh, the trick will be paying for a ticket for the whole family. <laughs> but who knows, we'll, we'll make it happen, we'll make it happen. What do you got, Fox? What are we looking at next? Oh, nice, like it's like a little mini pop -up, popping stick bay kind of. That'll be good for a, a brim or a bass, for sure. This. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's another one of the same, yeah. Rod, if you like the other handles, see if you can swap the handles. Yeah, I should, it might actually just screw in, yeah. But that means, I, yeah, well, I'll see what I've got. It'd be cool even if you could just swap the knob just on the top, but I don't think you can on these ones. I think if you pop it open, I think it's riveted in permanently, but you might actually be able to swap the whole handle. You're right, yeah, I'll give it a crack. Tap. Even my old, I had an old Clash that would actually work for that, because that had like one of the big knobs that was interchangeable. Yeah, so, yeah, big trip coming up. It's a trip that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, and the opportunities come up. Uh, it's sort of a, it's gonna push the skiff to a next level, definitely. It's a pretty far, but uh, I think I'm up for it. And um, it'll be an adventure, even if I don't catch the fish that I'm sort of hoping to catch, there should be other things around. And not only that, but it, it'd just be a hell of an adventure for me anyway. So I think I like the idea of sort of pushing it and and uh, you know, packing really super light and seeing how far we can go on the skiff. And then, uh, yeah, I think that'll uh, be uh, the exciting next video. I think I'll just say, uh, hey Rocket, catch them natives. Yeah, how you going mate? Fox, just leave the camera, yeah. But um, yeah, I got my helper. But yeah, this, this little reel, I'm really looking forward to getting that in mackerel season. Cause it's not as big like I think it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be able to, cause it's an overhead seal, it'll still fit heaps of line on it. But it's still gonna have that nice, th small feel. Feel like I'm fishing sort of semi-lighter. And also like, with the spinning reels on the kayak, when you're winding down, I tend to hit my knees and legs and it all hit the side of the kayak. Whereas with the overheads, cause the re reels on top, it's way better because I can wind all the way down and boost all the way up. So that's why I like the overheads, but all the spin reels now are coming in sealed. So it's hard to get away from the, the good sealed reels now, so. Here we go. Not a bad bit of rain. Can't go fishing. Yeah, it's been fishing quite a bit, uh, raining quite a bit, hasn't it, mate? Uh, not too bad. See that? Fox just adjusted the camera so he was in it. <laughs> Where did the name Rocket Kid come from? Uh, you could go and ask Johnny Brooks that uh, question. The story's not very exciting. It's just an old. Um, I bored him with this story about where their rocket kit name from came from. It's it's basically when I was a, like did when I started a graphic design business, I had to come up with a name. I came up with Rocket, but it got rid of because like Rocket Rod obviously, and then it was Rocket Design, but then they rejected. Take it off here. There you go. You put it on. And then I came up with the name Rocket Kit because at the uh, back when you had to go into the office to get your business name registered, they rejected my name because Rocket was too close to other businesses. Anyway, we elaborated to Rocket Kit. Worst thing I've ever done, because uh, um, trying to spell out Rocket Kit to people when they want your email is just almost impossible. They always get it wrong. But uh, it's just stuck because obviously before YouTube uh, videos and fishing videos were ever going up, I was doing, uh, I just used it as my regular login. So now it's just stuck, and now I'm Rocket Kit forever on everything, so it's just where it's come from. Yeah. No, there's already a guy at Rodden Rear. Yeah. But uh, I didn't want to do this one for too long, Max, or on the skiff yet, Yak or skiff. No Max yet, mate. Uh, I'm dying for it to happen, because we're in that kind of weird transition period where um, there's sort of, you can keep targeting snapper, but there's, there's not a hell of a lot going on. Uh, fishing seems a bit slow in general at the moment and I'm just desperate for summer to start. But uh, hopefully this trip will give me a good fix. I'm in Brisbane at the moment, any fishing going on? Uh, I don't know much about Brisbane, but um, I went up to North Australia last week, quick go, mac tuna everywhere, didn't get anything else. Do you catch bonefish out there? Yeah, they, they, you can get them. A lot of guys like to target them on fly and things, a bit challenging. Uh, and definitely pull hard. A guy got one up at North Australia at Outer Rock last year on uh, on the troll, I think. I think Billy caught one, which is funny. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Had a dream the other night that I was walking on the beach and you walked past on your kayak. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> anyway, I guess we should wrap this up. It was just meant to be a short one, just to get something up and say hi again. Um, yeah, Fox is systematically pulling everything apart, so there's stuff everywhere. Will you ever come down to Victoria? Uh, one day, yeah. When, look, one day, if I can ever get uh, 
the YouTube thing rolling a bit more, uh, uh, just a bit more, and, and it's pushing in a bit more money and becoming a bit more of a job, if that ever happens, then I will do non-stop trips everywhere, including Victoria. There's places I'd love to fish down there and, um, and meet some of the guys down there. But um, yeah, it's just a slow, slow grind to get there. I've got to post videos first and get there. Some other guys are slowly getting there, like all the, like, uh, Briggsy, Cavi and Timmy are all starting to get to that point where they might even be able to start going full time, which is cool. But I'm a bit behind them and I've got a bit more of a time restraint than them at the moment, so we'll get there, we'll get there. Yay. Dude, you're making a big mess. Still the kayaks getting big in Europe. Hope to see you there one day. Yeah, one day I'd love to go over. That would be ideal. My wife's twine's just yelling out next year. Who knows? Mate, we'd love to. Bye, Fox, you're a great help. Yeah, thanks, Fox. He's getting the gloves on. Say bye. Come and say bye. bye. Come and, no, come in and come and come bye. and wonder. Bye. See you later, guys. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. Sorry, not the most exciting one, but uh, just a couple of beer, gear, bid, gear bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Next vid should be a real good trip. If this weather plays ball, I'll definitely be on the trip. Uh, I'm meant to go on this Thursday, and hopefully it doesn't blow too strong and we can do it. If not, maybe it'll get postponed for another week to a week and a half. But um, yeah. All right, cheers. Thanks, guys. I'm still Thanks, alive guys. and more videos to come. Sorry I've been a bit lame. It's just been a bit crazy. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>